My mom's name was Shirley Herta. She grew up in Wyandot, Michigan. Religion was always very important to her. She was raised in a Catholic family and attended Catholic schools. Mom was baptized, received her first communion, and she was confirmed all in the same local church where she grew up. She loved children. She worked as an elementary school teacher and a Sunday school teacher, all the while having four children of her own. When mom was in her mid-30s, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Shortly after I was born, she had to start using a wheelchair. The disease worked its way through her body, and within a few years, she lost the use of her arms as well. But that importance of religion that I spoke of earlier, well, that's what got her through. I told her I would be her arms and her legs and do things for her, yet she still asked for very little of me. I never wanted to define her by her disease, but she was so faithful and so accepting. Her friends and family described her as being an inspiration and a hero. Even in her condition, she recognized how many people in the world were worse off than she was. Mom chose JRS as one of the beneficiaries in her will. She chose to leave everything to charity. After doing a lot of research, she liked JRS and what they stood for. Today, my mother's gift to JRS's special needs program at a refugee camp in Kenya ensures that children and adults with disabilities have access to life-giving and inclusive educational opportunities. Mom couldn't move from the neck down. She sat for over 40 years. But she knew that she was still at an advantage simply by living in this country. So it was important for her to help the less fortunate overseas. Mom passed away almost two years ago, but I know she felt at peace with the decision she made to include JRS in her will. Hopefully others will want to spread that same message around the world.